Hey friends, are you having overwhelm? Is there a lot on your plate that you can handle? Maybe it's the humongous responsibilities here and there. Maybe it's work. I don't know, you name it. But the good news is that I think I know something that could help. Friends, ha! 2020, the year of our Lord, has been a year full of challenges. The good thing it's not yet done, so we keep hopeful that the better days are ahead. But it has been a year full of challenges for many people than usual. You might be part of them, or not but for many it's inevitable they are under overwhelmed they have been overwhelmed by the heavy load by the pressures to sort many things up ladies and gentlemen by the responsibilities that many have to oversee and so on yes families have lost loved ones many have lost them to coronavirus may they are so rest in peace many have lost loved ones in the rampant riots here and there ladies and gentlemen many businesses have shuttered during the long covid 19 pause economies have suffered deep wounds ladies and gentlemen and many many other things have happened as we all know but there is this something that i learned from flavia tumsime flavia tumsime kabura you can check out her channel she has amazing vlogs and life experiences but this was the formula you automate, you delegate, you delete, and do. So in this video, I'm going to be demystifying the formula. The four ways to beat overwhelm. The four ways to reduce on the workload. The four ways to reduce on the many responsibilities that you have to overtake as a person so that you don't hurt yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, now let me demystify this formula using my life experiences. Are you ready? Get your pens out and your books. We're going to make some notes. Let's come back. So number one, automate. Just like I said, my experience. You also have your experience where you're going to apply it. So friends overseas, you see here in Africa, in our African culture, the kids in our home, they do chores. You see that? Chores like cooking, doing laundry, um, washing utensils and all that, cleaning the compound and all that. And ever since this COVID-19 thing happened, ladies and gentlemen, many of us have been at home for the bigger percentage of the period. Therefore, the chores were inevitable. So I happen to be the chef of my home. For all these months that we have been having, I've always been the one cooking. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, there are days when I was to shoot our YouTube videos and also go grocery shopping, at the same time come back and cook and then plan the meals, meal planning and all that. Honestly, it was too much on me. It was a heavy load. I was supposed to do all those things at the same time. But guess what? This is what we did. We decided to automate the some things that could be automated. What do I mean? We contracted some vegetable seller and he could deliver the vegetables on a daily basis. That alone reduced a lot of effort and the time that I could spend going to the market, buying, coming back every single day. Ladies, can you relate to that? It's just a small example. But this applies in all our different aspects of our lives. You know better where to apply it, but that is it, automate. So look at the many, many things that you have to do. Look at the many responsibilities on your plate that you have to undertake and find ones that you can actually automate. Number two, delegate. Ladies and gentlemen, now many of us, we need to agree, many of us, I inclusive, we have the perfectionism syndrome. We want everything to be done the way it is supposed to be done, as perfect as it's supposed to be done. And man, let me tell you something, in this cosmos, in this world that we are living in today, a few or absolutely no one will do what we do exactly the same way as we do it. By God's grace, ladies and gentlemen, this whole period I've been working, I've not lacked what to do, thanks to God. But while at work, ladies and gentlemen, there are some days that we are truly breaking. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about breaking in terms of the intensity of the many things that we had to do on the intensity of the many responsibilities that I had to overtake. I mean, I could finish the day very, very tired and yet the next morning I was supposed to wake up and then continue the same cycle. But while the cycle continued, ladies and gentlemen, I had to believe and trust in someone to do what I was to do, ladies and gentlemen. I had to leave someone to do part of the things that I was, I was supposed to do. Because, because time came 
when I could no longer be here and there and there at the same time and stay effective. So I had to delegate people to help me whenever it was too much on me, whenever it was overwhelming. So that is another way that we can reduce from the work. That is another way that we can reduce from the quantity of the responsibilities, the many responsibilities that we have to overtake, ladies and gentlemen. Are we together? By the way, that is why in many occasions we have people giving speeches in the name of delegates. You see, a president cannot be everywhere at every function, because, but he gets all these invitations. But what does he do? He delegates some people to go in his shoes and take on those responsibilities. In that way, he overcomes the overwhelm. In that way, he reduces on the stress. Also, many of us are at campus at this time. Yes, many of us are at campus. And you guys understand the dilemma in doing course works alone. You see, it's only made easy by having group work. And by group work, I mean you're going to delegate Simon to go and make research about topic A. You're going to delegate Isaac to go and make research about topic B. You're going to delegate Bonita. You're going to delegate all these different people in the group so that we get work and then compile as a group and we compile one final thing in that way that stress is reduced we reduce on the overwhelm are we together so friend really get someone believe and trust someone to have your responsibilities lightened together is better you see that now number three delete <laughs> delete as in delete delete d-e-l-e-t-e -E -E, delete now this truly really hurts because sometimes you find yourself deleting people off I know it's not the good way, but sometimes you need to delete off people, and at other times you're going to be you're going to be you're going to be in a position where you have to delete off certain things to do. What am I trying to talk about? Now, ladies and gentlemen, the issue here is not about accomplishing very many tasks. No, it's about staying productive. It's about staying happy. It's about staying you healthy mentally, physically, and emotionally, ladies and gentlemen. Now, critically, look through the, the to-do list. Critically, look through your to-do list and look at those things that you could actually take off that are taking most of your time, but they're not more productive. That are taking most of your time, but they're not earning you nothing. That are taking most of your time and they're not even adding to your growth of the, and they're not even adding to the growth of your brand, growth of your business, or even yourself. And yes, there are people too that we ought to delete. Why? Because of their attitudes, because of their thinking, because of their ambitions, because of their goals, because of their targets, because of the vision, the short-sightedness, ladies and gentlemen. Time is so precious that you don't have to waste it on people that are only pulling the best out of you and adding nothing on your life. Now, yes, it hurts, but what matters is what you are doing and not how you will look while doing it. So delete. Now finally, after you've deleted, you've reduced, you've reduced the weights, the heavy burdens on your shoulders, ladies and gentlemen, you have to do, you have to perform, you have to execute, you have to perfect the tasks that you have left on your plate, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. It's not about accomplishing very many tasks or obligations. No, it's about staying productive. It's about doing a few and staying productive. So ladies and gentlemen, it is that shortly, friends. All the best applying this four ways to overcome overwhelm, four ways to beat overwhelm, four ways to reduce to deal with stress, or four ways to stay productive with a heavy load on your work table. Apply this in all your different spaces of life. You'll thank me later. And also, don't forget to check out Flavia's channel, Flavia Ket Musime. Man, if you reach there, tell us Simon sent you. Thank you so much. God bless you. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up make sure you share it with a friend because it has inspired you don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you believe what we believe and that is to help people discover their true self and inspire others to do the things that inspire them if that is what we believe then join us by clicking the subscription button turn on the notification bell we shall notify you every single week when we post god bless you and i'll catch you in the next one now we also voila